Libra, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Awatero, and I'm here to give you guys your daily message. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's going on with you, see what you'll be dealing with today. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Libra, as you all know, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does. Leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as may be. Cross watchers are always welcome. Don't forget to check your other placements. And um, if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started, Libra. Let's see what is the overall energy for Libra for today. What is the message that Libra needs to hear, universe? What is the message for Libra? You got the high priestess in the reverse, and then you got the two of cups. Oh, man. What are you confused about? I feel that you're dealing with some type of confusion in regards to your current commitment. There's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're questioning in regards to this commitment. What is that, universe? Hmm. You got the page of pentacles and the sun in the reverse. Somebody is... Be, be, uh, excuse me. You're actually... You're considering breaking up with somebody here. And you know this is going to cause a lot of sadness. But right now, it's just like you can't see clearly in this situation. Like, you don't see the situation going anywhere. And you're really deciding to break up with somebody. Someone that's rather immature here. It's going to make you sad. It's going to make them sad. But right now, you got to do what you got to do for you. As I said, it's going to make you sad with the Five of Cups in the reverse. But you feel that as you move away from this connection with that energy, with the Five of Cups, you're starting to see things different. You're starting to see some hope return back into your life. I feel that you, you're kind of stuck. You feel like this person is lying to you, like this person is keeping secrets from you. You've become guarded towards this person. With the Four of Cups here, um, you have come to realize that this is unfulfilled. Like you're in a situation that isn't giving anything to you and you just don't feel like there's any growth anymore. There's no stability with the Queen of Pentacles. No stability. Wow. OMG. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, guys. What I'm seeing here is that you have come to realize that this person has been keeping secrets from you. This person has been lying to you. This person, when they tell you something, you constantly think that they're just lying. They're, they're just mentally playing games with you. They're just being very deceptive. And you have decided to pull your love away from this person. Because you realize that this person is an emotional manipulator. They tug on your heartstrings. You have decided to move your energy away from this. You do not want to put any more work into this energy, into this relationship anymore. You're done with it. You are done with it. You're done being the one that has to provide everything in the connection when it comes to money, to the fact of cleaning. Okay? You're the one that does everything and you're getting tired. You are tired of that. What else, universe? Yup. You are done working. And you are walking away. That is fucking crazy. You are done putting your work into this connection and you have made a decision to walk away. You're leaving. You're done. You don't want to deal with the situation anymore. You feel like this person is blocking you out of certain scenarios, that they're lying to you about certain situations, and you're done with it. You're putting that guard up, and you're packing up, and you're leaving. You are leaving. You've made this decision to move on to a new beginning, not necessarily in a relationship, but just for a new beginning for yourself and your family, okay? You've made this judgment call. You have already decided. You see clearly what the situation is, and you're prepared to move on already. With the Ace of Wands here, you are wanting a new a new beginning. You you just gotten this enlightenment to move on already, to move on and move forward towards stability. You're moving towards something stable with the Ten of Pentacles here. You are moving to a situation that's going to be more stable than anything else. There's gonna be um how can I put it like you're gonna be able to 
to bring a lot of stability to your family. For some of you guys, this may even have to do with a job. Some of you guys are deciding to leave the current place you're employed at because it's not offering you what you desire and you're venturing off in your own business. And I feel honestly the move that you're making is going to be the right move for you. Look it. With the moon, yep. There's secrets that have been held. And you've been looking around. You've already been looking around for something new. For a lot of you guys, this has to do with work. Definitely has to do with work. Okay? You're, def you're definitely making a decision to move on to another company. You have a lot of options, actually. But there is one option here that overall you feel comfortable with. With the lovers here. With the one, oh, oh wow, with the Wheel of Fortune. You know that this is the right option for you. And you're going to make it. You manifested this opportunity. You did manifest this opportunity to move on. So for some of you guys, this can be with a relationship, a personal relationship, a love relationship. And for other you guys, it has to do with work. Let's see here. What else? I just heard you're moving to stable grounds. You are moving to a new company. This is work. You have made a decision. You have made a decision to move on. You have made a decision to break up with whomever you're dealing with. Okay? You don't want to deal with that energy anymore. You don't want to be... How can I put this? Like, be part of a third-party situation. Not necessarily romantically, guys. But for some of you guys, it can be like that. But you don't want to deal with that. You've decided to pull away to rest and to rejuvenate. To seek higher levels here. And another opportunity. And another workplace. There's something else that's coming towards you. That is divinely guided for you. And this is true. This offer that's coming towards you is going to be the best offer you have ever accepted. So for a lot of you guys, if you're getting an opportunity to have a new a new employment here, take it because it's going to be the best move you've ever made. For some of you guys, this may have to do with a relationship that you were put in a third-party situation and you've made the decision to walk away. But overall, you're walking away towards success, whether in love or in employment, okay? Or in employment, not unemployment. Let's see here. You're manifesting abundance. Yeah, guys, this definitely has to do with a lot of you guys that are looking for a new job. Okay? You're manifesting this abundance. They're getting ready to reach out. You're going to get an offer. This is going to be a life-changing offer for you. And you're going to have to leave the past in the past. And you're going to have to move on to this new opportunity. Okay? Alrighty, uh, Libra, I hope this reading resonates for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell. if you want to book a personal reading, guys, the info is in the description box below. Have a good one. Bye.